lost to here, look, and thanks to uh, Senator Hoey for sharing some time. I also want to acknowledge um, Senator uh, Vincent P. Martin for, for bringing this bill forward. And as has been said by my colleague, the excellent briefing that we received um, today, uh, Las Cahirlach, was most worthwhile and, and very knowledgeable for, as always, we had the excellent Nolan Blackwell, CEO of the Dublin uh, Rape Crisis Centre, and also uh, Jay McGowan, barrister, who outlined uh, in great detail what was involved in this particular bill. And I suppose from a public representative, and I'm sure there are many in this room that hold clinics throughout uh, their own constituencies. And when you get somebody sitting in front of you, and I've said this before, very recently in this house, who are the subject and subject of, of domestic violence and coercive control, it's there the fear is brought home and the reality is brought home to you. And one of the issues that I discussed with, with Nolene today was the whole idea of trying to encourage more people to come forward through the legal system. And I know that is something that uh, Senator Martin has done in, in, in introducing this bill, because that's what we want to encourage. We want to encourage those that are victims to come forward uh, and use the legal system. And I think that this bill, as has been said by, by Nolene today, is a step in the right direction. And we have to acknowledge that um, today, that that's what uh, Vincent P. Martin had, had said about when he started to, to look into this bill. I also, Minister, want to acknowledge the great work that's done by the refugees throughout the country, uh, particularly in County Kildare and Chalk Thurman in my own county. And I know you've supported those in the past and your department have supported those in the past, Minister, but I put out the call again today that we can't give them enough support, we can't give them enough funding in relation to the work to do. And I know something that you have always acknowledged, and I know that you will look at that again and look elsewhere where they're non-existent at the moment, because when I deal with this, the first question is, what's going to happen to me? Where can I go? And you know, unfortunately, Chuck Terman, with the great work to do, sometimes they're full and we have to look elsewhere. And some of those places are not there. And that's the biggest worry that those coming forward, predominantly women, have when I, when I meet them at the clinics. And you know, that conversation needs to happen. And I know you and your department uh, will look at that again, Minister. But as I said, uh, this is a step in the right direction. Just to thank uh, Senator Martin for his work on this. And as has been said, we're very proud to co sign it as well, Lasker. Thank you. Thank you. Before